Hello, Virgo. Welcome and welcome back. I was getting the word temporary. Okay, so something is temporary or a situation is temporary. There could be a temporary situation happening right now that is just about to switch. It's about it's about to change, okay? I feel like this could apply to like a job. Maybe somebody's a temp, okay? Temp person. Or uh, whatever it is that you're experiencing right now, it is temporary. Something is coming to an end or something will be beginning, okay? So this too shall pass. Also, I was getting that song, you and me and me and you, na 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 na. Okay, there's something like that. I don't even know the lyrics of that song, but I'm telling you. Something about me and you, me and you, okay? And some sort of increase is going on between you and somebody this week. Okay, tarot reading for Virgo, the first week of February. February. <laughs> Can't speak. Okay. I just got that No Doubt song as well. Look, oh my gosh. So someone is adoring you this week. There's a lot of adoration. I feel like there's feelings involved. Someone's like invoking some sort of feelings. What's going on? Is this... Oh. From the past. Okay, be careful. Someone here may be drinking too much. It could be you or someone around you. There's a lot of drinking going on. This is someone who's finding themselves at the bottom of the bottle because they're grieving some sort of loss, all right? Because something ended for them, something that was their wish fulfillment, something they really, really wanted, and now they're doing things in excess, okay? Someone's really in their feelings right here. The five of wands, why is everybody doing five of wands lately? Okay, your situation is judgment and you got a person over here with the king of swords. What are you doing? Um, wow. You're dealing with a real stubborn person this week. This is the person who wants to show up in your reading. It could be an air sign. Um... Specifically, this is my Aquarius energy. We also got some Scorpionic energy here. So Scorpio or an Aquarius? I feel like this person is, is like arguing with you because they feel like they're always right or they feel like they're right right now, okay? And it's like pulling teeth for you dealing with this person. You're like in a competitive state with this whoever this is let me see about this judgment because something is happening here there's a decision to be made about this dis about this decision about this situation tell me about this judgment for virgo and the situation it's like is this a one up or is this a one down it's like either we're moving forward or we're moving backwards or something like this going on and this could be what you're telling them or you're kind of asserting yourself with this person you're dealing with some arrogant whoever the heck they are. I don't know. Okay. This is super interesting. This looks like someone is having... um a lot of nightmares or night terrors or a lot of like anxious thoughts and feelings about this relationship. But I feel like it's whatever, whoever's ingesting something, smoking something, drinking something, something like that's going on here because they're starting to feel like paranoid. Someone is paranoid about a relationship. It's like they're thinking worst case scenario all day and all night and they like get woken up by this. Who? All right, hold on. All right, so we got the Six of Wands, the Knight of Cups, wow, and the Queen of Cups. So someone here is just like, okay, I don't care. I'm just gonna go in there. I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna offer my cup to this person. I'm gonna tell them how I feel. I'm gonna tell them I really like them and I chose them out of a sea of people, okay? This is the person I want to uh, be connected to. This is the person that I like. So you like someone, Virgo. You like someone? You like to help this person or this person likes to help you? There's an increase of feelings happening this week with you and someone else, okay? You may be dealing with someone who's kind of stoic or they don't necessarily express themselves unless they're drinking. Interesting. All right, let me see about this five of wands for Virgo. What's going on with Virgo? 
Or like, most of the time they don't express themselves. Tell me about this five of wands for Virgo. What's temporary though? The king of pentacles, the queen of pentacles, the lovers, four of swords. This looks very competitive here. With this king of pentacles. There's some really strong feelings going on here, but it's almost like getting, it's hard to get a relationship off the ground with somebody. You may feel like this position with you and someone is contested somehow. Let me see about this king of swords. Seven of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, the world. So this person feels like they're really responsible or they have a lot of responsibilities this week. Okay, you're dealing with someone over here who has other responsibilities or they want to put their energy into some sort of um, they have like a bunch of tasks involving people involving people that depend on them people that lean on them. They feel like they're needed by other people right now. And they're kind of like, yeah, I know this is going to be over, but I don't know when. So this is the temporary situation. They're saying, when can I quit doing this? When can I quit slaving away for these people? When can I quit cleaning up everybody's mess? I have so much stuff to do. Everything just piles up on my shoulders. I'm the one who has to deal with it. And they're basically saying, when can I stop this? When can I leave this alone? When can I move? When can I walk away from all these burdens I'm feeling from these people over here? But they don't necessarily know when that is. It's just kind of a question mark. It's like, I don't know when I'll be finished, you know, doing stuff for everybody over here. But they feel like up against the wall or they have so much stuff. Yeah, look, over and over again. Okay. Let me see. Let's talk about how you see this person, Virgo? Because it looks like you have a love offer here. And it's just being real stagnant or real steady. It's just not really moving that much. It's just there. It's like, wow, I have my feelings for this person, but I can't necessarily act on it. Or I can't always act on it, okay? It's, it's a pain to be able to express yourself with this person. Or it's a pain to get something off the ground with this person. And they're telling you whatever they're dealing with is temporary. So now you're in this Four of Swords energy, just kind of like biding your time or praying for a better day or an easier situation because there's some sort of conflicts going on with you and this person, the situation. All right. It's almost like you're waiting on someone to, or someone is, you're waiting on someone to quit messing around or to get their life in order to quit to be available is what it is why are they not available okay hold on how do you see this person virgo tell me about this person according to you tell me the six of wands. Wow. Well, that's the person in the, in the middle right there. So the king of cups and the... Okay, so this might be a Scorpio or someone with Gemini. This is a very proud person here. I feel like whatever offers come in with this person, it's, uh, what's up with this per I feel like this person doesn't address like their feelings. I don't know why. 
or it comes off that way to you. This person is coming off to you as like um, very, I guess, arrogant. Yeah. You feel like this person is arrogant, but you have feelings for them or they have feelings for you. You, you know this person in a very uh, friendly or romantic way here. They're going through some sort of change. This feels like to me, there's someone changing the way they feel about this situation as well. So you see them as having like a change of heart or needing to have a change of heart. Interesting. High Priestess, the Queen of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. Okay, and the Lovers. There's no expression of feelings going on between you and this person for whatever reason. It's almost like a pain to even say how each other feels or it's like you have a strong connection with this person. There may be another energy here. Because you have the king and queen of cups here when we're talking about them. And then here's your energy popping up with the queen of pentacles, which you came out with. You have a love offer for this person that you're not offering them. You have feelings for someone that you're not giving to them. The Queen of Pentacles and the Lovers. You get it twice. All right, hold on now. Let's see. How is this person seeing Virgo? Please. How does this person see Virgo? You may not know how this person feels right now. It's almost like you see them as like not being super interested or they are, but it's almost like unpredictable in a sense. Like you feel like this person's real stuffy. They keep their feelings to themselves. Um, you feel, I don't know. It could be vice versa, guys. Let me see. This person sees Virgo. How? The Nine of Swords. The Queen of Pentacles, there you are showing up like that again. The Nine of Cups and the Eight of Cups. So they see you as being bothered because you really, you have something that you really want here or you have a desire that's really important to you. Nine of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, but that you abandon it or you leave it alone. Like you're not doing anything about it. And this super, this bothers you here to even take a chance or put yourself out there. Why does this feel vice versa? This person feels like you're hiding your feelings or you're hiding your stresses. You don't really say what you want with them. So they see you as kind of quitting here. It's like, nope, bye, basically. <laughs> All right, what do you want with this person, Virgo? What do you want with this person? Virgo. It's almost like you doubt what this person wants. What, do, what does Virgo want with this person? Three of Cups. Nine of Swords. Gosh, you're really bothered by this whole situation here. Okay, there's not a lot of clarity going on, and this is what's causing you this angst, okay? There's some sort of angst going on. It's like, yeah, I do want a new beginning. Yeah, I want something to happen here but I don't necessarily see that it's possible or I don't know what to expect from this person, from this relationship. There's probably other opportunities going on here. This is someone who's showing up as like a friend. This is your friend. Maybe someone at a distance. Okay, I feel like you're not telling this person you have some sort of friendly relationship with them and you're not telling them something. All right. This person wants with Virgo. You want a new beginning with this person, but you're, you don't trust it or you don't see it going the way that you would want it to. It's like you don't feel like the other person would pick up the slack or they would be there or that they want the same thing. They will put actions toward the same thing here. Okay, this person wants with Virgo. What's this person want with Virgo? Justice. And the Page of Pentacles, the Hierophant. 
What? Merlin. Okay, this is okay. Let me just say it. Hermit, Hierophant, and the Page of Pentacles. Justice? about a, a commitment being honored here they want some type of commitment to be honored here to be done right to follow the rules follow the laws do everything according to what is right to do here with this situation that's what they want um I'm not sure what commitment they're referring to here okay let me see Seven of Swords. All right. People are all hiding their types of feelings here between you and this person. If you suspect this person likes you, Virgo, they do. If this person cross watches, if you're suspecting Virgo likes you, they do. All right. Um, people are not expressing their feelings or there's something here that needs to be expressed. Okay. Because it's like, I, I don't know what to say to this person. I don't know how to express my feelings to this person. I don't know what to say to this person. I have so much feelings for them, but I'm hiding it. You know, everything is covert, keeping it to myself. I don't know if it's appropriate or not. There's something like that going on. This person over here is ha is kind of curious about how a relationship with you would go anyway. Okay. What kind of reading is this? <laughs> is this your secret admirer type stuff again? This has been going on. All right, hold on. I'm just now getting it. I'm like, what? <laughs> but I do feel like this, somehow this person's at a distance or they're not available. So I don't know how this is playing out like this. Oh well, I'm sure you'll know if it's your reading. All right, Virgo's next moves. Oh God, it's like, how do I tell them? I feel something. Should I offer something or not? That's what's going on here. I feel like someone's getting ready to offer something between you and this person. It looks like you because it's coming from this direction. Let's see what's going on. All right, so we got the Six of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, the Strength card. There's a fear of uh, getting hurt here. I just dropped a card. Okay, we got Sun popping out and what's this? The Justice. So look, there's a Six of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles. That's you, Virgo. You're looking at this offer with this person. There's some sort of reconnection with this person. This is a soulmate type energy. This is someone that you are familiar with or you feel familiar with, okay? There's definitely something here that you are considering. You're like, should I invest here? I feel like there's some sort of heartbreak that has been experienced here or there is currently about the flow of things, okay? It's definitely some sort of disappointing situation. But this looks like to me, you're looking at at least having fun with this person, investing slowly with this person, just kind of letting things flow is what it's looking like. Let me see what this person's doing doing why did i grab this deck let me do this all right this person's next moves here you have happy times and uh, a lot of balance here coming in justice okay this person next moves please the four of wands the temperance Oh my gosh, it looks like you have some sort of expression here or a happy time, a get together, um, good news coming in. Everybody's happy elated sun card on both sides, okay? This is kind of like, do you want to come over? Do you want to hang out? Or some sort of expression is coming in about your relationship. It's being offered. It is. It is. It's here, Virgo. It's here. Okay, well, looks like things are kind of moving along here. Um... What's this two of wands, this thing here? I feel like you're gonna get some clarity somehow, Virgo. It, it's coming from off, off of the other person though. It's almost like they're gonna be saying something or their actions or doing things here. There's some amount of clarity that they're um, giving to you or you're somehow detecting, okay? You, you get some sort of understanding about this person's point of view. It looks like because they communicate something, right? right? So for Virgo, actually, let me get you this first. 
Three cards for Virgo. Three cards for Virgo. Ten of Swords, the Nine of Cups, the Empress, and the Ten of Cups. Wow. Interesting. You feel like something failed or something's ended, and it's not. Because you're getting some sort of opportunity that you want. It's coming in here. You're like super happy right here. You're like, oh man, this is terrible. This is the worst case scenario or something like that you feel or you think here when in actuality you get some type of wish fulfillment. Look, is the Empress and the Ten of Pentacles? Hello. Okay. What you want, you're receiving. It's something about growth and abundance here. Could involve some sort of gathering coming in. Um, hold on. Someone's like catering to you, Virgo. What is this? The Six of Swords. Yeah. There it is. There it is. So finally, someone is expressing some sort of feelings or flirting and the connection is moving forward. You're having some type of victory in this relationship or some sort of connection with someone here. Okay. It's going to be like... Um, like I said, there's something that you're understanding here and it's something you want to be hearing or knowing. You're happy about this. This is like, yes, I finally get my answers or yes, I finally understand here. I know that this person's flirting with me or um, I know this person thinks I'm hot. There's a lot of attraction going on, okay? That's kind of what's happening here. You also get your victory. You get what you want. I'm seeing this in multiple areas. You are gonna be elated about this. Let me see for Virgo, please. Finally, someone speaks up. Finally, someone says what they want, okay? I am miraculous. My prayers create powerful channels of possibility is on the bottom. So I do feel like this is something you wanted or you've been wanting and it's coming in, all right? So here's your card. It says, what does it say? My soul informs my every step. I do what my heart compels me to do. Yeah, someone needs to take action here. Okay, that, that's just it. It's like someone's afraid or worried or uh, constantly paranoid or concerned about what other people, who cares? Someone's afraid of rejection. All right, it happens, but who cares? In the long run, who cares, okay? I feel like whatever this is, someone decides to take action, they decide to say something or do something and it's well received. I feel like it's coming off this person though. All right, so here it is. Your action is needed here. Someone's actually going to be taking action. They're taking initiative, finally. All right, finally. Okay, feel free to check your placements here, Virgo, your friends, family members, neighbors, coworkers, Peep and Tom and Peep and Tony down the street. Check their placements too so we know what they're up to. Love ya, kisses. Bye.